So today we'll be <clears throat> learning uh, some tips and tricks on how to make use of artificial intelligence and technologies to learn better, to make learning easier, to plan things better, to organize uh, uh, like the contents uh, and the text uh, or uh, the kind of materials we have. So how we can make use of AI? Okay, so everything will be much more easier compared to uh, like uh, our previous uh, learning models that we have experienced earlier. Okay, Abrar. Good morning, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good evening, okay. <laughs> so hope everything is fine. Yes. Okay, Good. fine, great. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. So sh shall we start? Sabina, ma'am, are you here or? Okay. So let me ask one question. Okay, so we'll start with the question. How many of you are utilizing artificial intelligence in your daily learnings? How many of you are utilizing the power of artificial intelligence in your daily learnings? So Ahmad is using. So you can you can just give uh, like uh, a digital hand raise. Okay, everyone is using, right? So how do you feel? Is it easier to learn with AI or uh, is it making making things complicated? Easier. Easier. Okay. Yeah. Abrar, there is some dis disturbance at your end. There is some. There are some issues with your uh, mic. Okay. So let's fix it uh, the next time. Okay. So it's going to make things easier. Okay, so we'll be discussing. So I'll be discussing some ideas wherein I utilize the power of artificial intelligence in my in my learnings. Okay, so I don't. Maybe I, I may take up some specific uh, cases in your uh, uh, examinations also. But let me come to some points wherein I make my learning easier. Previously, I used to learn from textbooks. I used to learn from videos. I used to. Uh, like uh, attend classes, I used to spend a lot of money to learn something, but now everything is at my fingertips. Okay, With the power of artificial intelligence, the technology, the internet, everything is at my fingertips. So my learning styles have changed. So if you ask me like how I learned, how, how I used to learn two years back, it's not the same style I follow right now. So uh, right now it's it's a different uh, kind of uh, model I am uh, operating out of and. Uh, it's pretty easier and the time also has come down. Previously, it took me like whatever took me like months to learn. Uh, and right now it takes me only less than uh, like few minutes to learn, to prepare also. So even if I need to prepare something, that is also becoming very easy. So if I need to prepare for a webinar, if I need to prepare for a session, I only j just need to go through, just uh, brush up uh, some ideas uh, like uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, like uh, for the session okay previously to it uh, used to take uh, like days days or months of preparation but one more thing i would i would like to insist like uh, that also comes from my wisdom or uh, the kind of learning i had earlier so never ever think that ai is going to help you if you don't have any uh, like uh, if you don't have any reading habits don't think like that you should have some reading habits you should have some habit of learning on a daily basis and like uh, and uh, like uh, strengthen your knowledge base then ai is going to make things easier much more easier for you okay so let me first of all uh, let me take you to one uh, specific examples of using uh, one particular stuff in second uh, here and okay Okay, so my screen is visible, right? Can you see, see my yeah, screen? Yeah. Okay, 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 fine. So have you used this model, this particular model of learning, like creating a like a relationship diagram in learning? How many of you have used this? Have you seen this? Have you experienced this one second? This kind of uh, model of uh, creating some relational diagrams. How many of you have used this in learning? Jenna, have you used this? Uh, not exactly the same. Uh, 
one, but I it's called mind mapping, right? So I have done mind mapping. Yes, mind mapping. Uh, so how how easy is to create? Uh, what tools you use to create mind map? Uh, it's one like site I found, but not exactly like this. Okay. So uh, this 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 method of learning is called mind mapping. Okay. So we can create mind map diagrams to learn complex things. We can break it down. So once if you have uh, like if you have if you are learning something. You can create a mind map which gives you the relations between uh, different uh, things. Got it. So once you create this mind map, what is uh, it is it is going to help you in future. How you are when you when you want to brush up, if you want to revise, you just need to come to this mind map, just uh, view this mind map and just uh, brush up things rather than going to that textbook again or the material again. So did you get the point? Yeah. Are you are you able to understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. So how easy is to create the mind map? Uh, uh, yeah. Like how much time it will take you take for you to create a mind map, Jenna? For a solar uh, system. A few minutes, like. Ah. Uh, few minutes. Few minutes. Okay. So using the tool. Okay. So here I am. Here I am going to explain one AI tool that is going to help you out to create mind map, maybe less in less than a minute. Not even minutes. It will take you only like uh, split seconds. Okay, so I'll I'll explain how I am doing this. I'll go to Chat GPT. Okay, so this this particular tool is called Mark Map. Okay, so I'll uh, just share the uh, link over here. Note it down. Okay. So I have the chat box right. One second. One second. Let me let me check. Okay, I'll I'll put it in the chat box. Uh, sir, I think none of us have the chat box in this. Uh -huh. oh, no, in this way, oh, in, for the we webinar. Can put it okay. in the group. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll share it in the group. Okay, later. I'll I'll share it in the group. But listen, okay. So this this particular tool is called Mark Map. Okay, you can see it. Uh, you can see it here. Mark Map. Here, what is happening is like I'll go to Chat GPT. Or any other generative AI tool, I'll simply ask for uh, this one: create a markdown schema. Because this particular language, this is also a programming language, a scripting language. Okay, you might be you might be aware of some kind of programming language like Python, CPP, CPP, Java, or something like that, or scripting language like HTML, uh, JavaScript, etc. Okay, so you might have already come to uh, know about such uh, uh, such kind of scripting languages. Here, for this mind mapping, here Mark Map uses a particular language schema called Markdown. Okay, so here I am going. I am going and asking uh, the mind map, uh, like uh, the, the ChatGPT tool, to create a Markdown schema for the solar system. Okay, so it will create. Uh, can you can you just tell me another topic? Any other topic to just create a mind map? Anyone? Can you think about any other topic? AI. Hmm. AI. Okay. Uh, so how how is it going to relate? Okay. Anyway, we will uh, we will uh, like uh, uh, mind map schema for the AI uh, or the LLM architecture. Okay. Let's let's uh, because we need to have some meaning meaningful uh, mind maps, right? Yeah. Let's try to create. So it is creating a markdown schema. So it is creating in a particular but that particular scripting language. Okay. It is going to create in that particular scripting language so that uh, the sets and the subset and everything, the table of contents and uh, every subtopics and uh, that is taken care of. Okay, so let's create the mind map for something which is meaningful. So what happened? Here it don't have that much uh, like it is uh, not that meaningful anyway. It is trying to create a mind map. But coming on to this uh, solar system. See, it has created a detailed uh, mark map markdown schema. Okay, so what I will do after creating this one, I'll just copy. Okay, just listen. Okay, I'll just copy this one. There is a copy uh, option over here itself. Whenever it, uh, whenever ChatGPT or any other language model create a code, code or a script, it will have a copy code option. So we will just copy the code. Go to this marking schema. What I'll do? There, uh, if you go to this mark map. 
if you the mark map will be something like this i'll have an option to try it out okay i'll go to try it out i'll just start from here because this code is already here i'm going to replace this code with the code which i have copied okay i'll just paste it over here and it is it has created the mind map okay it has created the mind map and if you make smaller corrections because it it won't be that much uh, like uh, it won't be that uh, that much uh, uh, what to say uh, er error uh, it will be error prone okay so what you will have to do you will have to create you will have to make some changes in between because this is the main section the, this is the solar system is the main section and the subsections will have two hashtags okay you can see over here because it has uh, given one uh, the, the second section have the overview it has the table of contents it all everything will be in the section 2 uh, so coming on to section 3 it is uh, like uh, creating subsections so you can understand once going through this code itself you will be able to understand how to create the main section how to go to subsections and all so it has created a mind map now you can you can download it as an in interactive html page now you can open the html also once you are here you can <coughs> one second you can uh, right click and open it in google chrome itself one second you can open it here okay so it will be uh, you can open it with the location so it will open as an html so either you can you can embed it as a code in uh, uh, code for creating a html page okay so that you can use it later you can create websites out of this you can create html is actually for creating websites so you can create a website or else you can uh, what to say you can uh, you can uh, uh, take sc screenshot of this one you can take a screenshot of this one and you can even uh, uh, like paste it in paste it in some other place okay you can paste it uh, either in a canva presentation you can uh, paste it in a notion page and all okay so the once this mind map is created learning is going to be very easy so you can drill down the complex topics to simple steps and the simple and easily understandable steps got it what my point anything to repeat yes sir okay so if you if you go to the how to create uh, like it in a like uh, let me let me show you how to create it as a website okay so here i have created a mind map and i have created as a website because this this website is created as a sub page of hash video school so i have created some tools i have uh, uh, like uh, i need to like uh, refer back because i have got some ai tools for marketing i have got some ai tools for sales and all so this is basically for my corporate training purpose so what i do i have created everything as html pages and i have uh, like uploaded it in a web server and i am using it as an html page so this is going to make things easier for you okay so once you create html page or once you create once you take the screenshot and uh, paste it in notion or any other canva presentation or any other place that you need to learn this is going to make things simpler okay so it is going to give you an output it is going to give you uh, the the uh, the core uh, section of the topics in one place that too in a pictorial representation methodology hope you got it fine fine to proceed yeah yeah okay 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 so this is one model so you'll have to create markdown language okay so that is one thing that we need to discuss another one is notion how many of you have already used notion notion for creating and organizing things okay great so notion is one area one particular portal where you will have to use it in an ex like uh, extensively because notion is one area wherein you can put all your uh, your what to say your learning materials in one place rather than uh, just going and searching for uh, some topics here and there you can organize everything as a web page okay so creating a page in notion is uh, not that difficult it's very easy so here you see i have uh, i have a course actually i have a uh, course for technology and ai for working professionals so what i used to do whatever topics i get wherever wherever i find a topic or whichever articles i read i'll just copy paste the contents from there and i'll put it back uh, in this notion pages 
I'll create pages. I'll create sub pages, and uh, this sub pages and all it will uh, finally finally act as a great learning material for me. Or uh, at a later point of time, I can refer to this one because even if I get some AI tools or uh, uh, some kind of uh, like methodologies, everything I'll put it here. Okay. So notion, how you can use this notion later on when I need to search for a topic because if you see my notion page, you can see a lot of stuffs in here. It's no, it's I'm I'm using it extensively. I'm using it for different purpose, even for uh, like managing my company, even for my uh, managing my personal uh, schedules, for uh, managing my learning uh, modules. Everything I'm using Notion. So how to search Notion? There is a Q and A option. There is an AI tool here in Notion. Have you seen this AI tool? Have you uh, like come across this AI tool in Notion? Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. okay, so here how to use uh, notion for learning you will have to organize everything here you will have to come back to uh, one second. Okay, you will have to come back to here right now I need to check, check for prompt engineering. Okay, so I don't I have already given some topics about prompt engineering here because I know that uh, like I have already created uh, some uh, I have already created uh, a repo, a repository for uh, this AI tools. So I need to search about prompt engineering. I'll just search. So it will search inside this topic. It will create a summary of what prompt engineering is. OK, it is learning from this um, uh, already uh, the topics which I have already given. OK, and it also give, give reference to links which contains that particular uh, topic. OK, it has already given a summary of what prompt engineering is. And this will be fine for you. If you need to learn some topic in science, if you need to learn some topic in math, how to how to do that? You'll have to create pages. You'll have to create a page over here. You'll have to add topics into this. Later on, use this Q&A feature so that you can refer back. You can understand what this particular topic is about. And you can even refer to the particular section which contain what is prompt engineering. OK, so everything will be easy to handle also you you can even you can manage uh, things over here you can manage contents over here you can later later you can refer back you can refer back to this topic it is going to be very easy so how to create a new page how many of you know how to create a page in notion hmm? the top left okay so there is an option i'll 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 just I'll show you the option okay Suppose I need to uh, go to this uh, particular, I need to add a topic here. Either I can click here and add a page. Okay. Or there, there is something, some, some much more easier methodology wherein I can go to the topic. I can, uh, if I need to create a page over here, what I need to do? I'll just type slash page. Okay. So slash page will take me to a new page. I'll, I'll add the topic, I'll add uh, the, uh, title over here and I'll create a page. I can copy paste, I can uh, paste links, I can uh, upload documents, I can upload image, everything is possible here. Notion is a great tool. If you need to upload an image, you can just uh, type slash image. If you need to, uh, like, uh, you need to add a heading, you can create a heading. Everything is available. If you take, just type this slash forward slash and if you check for different option you'll see a lot of tools coming up here okay you can embed video if you need to embed a video that is also possible right you can paste a youtube video link over here you can uh, like uh, you can just one second you can just uh, copy this one you can uh, embed the video you can ask it to embed that so this is going to be very easy so once you find some meaningful topic, which is related to the subject that you learn, you can easily put it in an ocean page. Then later on, you can refer to this by searching, by using the Q&A feature. Is this uh, to tool clear for you? Yeah. Everyone, yes, any, any doubts? No. Okay, so you'll have to use Notion. I'll, I'll always... I'll always, because this is going to help you in future also. Later, uh, at a later point of time, if you need to teach someone, if you need to refer, uh, uh, maybe after 10 years, if you need to refer uh, this particular uh, topic to someone, you can create Notion page and you can share the link. 
as we do in right now for our uh, materials and all right here we are creating each and every day we are creating uh, notion pages because uh, if you check uh, the kind of uh, learning that we have in, right now rather than because we have some limitation with uh, uh, class dojo right so here we are adding the topics over here we are adding different topics here and we are just sharing it with you okay even we can share the links we can uh, uh, embed the material we can uh, create new page we can uh, do anything so whatever uh, we need to share with you we are creating an ocean page and we are uh, uh, we are uh, like sharing it in, with the class dojo is this fine yeah okay to use so you need to make a plan how to use it okay make a plan on how to use it okay so how many of you have uh, downloaded the sample question paper from uh, any neos website how many of you have gone through the sample question paper yeah. yes huh? i downloaded okay yeah, i got okay so during our last session we discussed something right we discuss about uh, referring to sample question papers so what is going what is how is it going to help you out sample question paper actually the previous five years question papers will be repeated maybe 70 percentage 80 percentage will be repeated that is the kind of pattern all this all the exam boards follow okay all the exam boards like cbsc state syllabus uh, igcse or any other any any boards will follow a pattern wherein the last five year question papers will follow so if you refer to the last five years or 10 years of question paper if you have a great understanding you are going to like uh, get around 80 70 to 80 percentage of mark okay so suppose you have downloaded some uh, question paper i'll i'll just go back to that a particular topic one second okay so if i have i have already downloaded the question paper how will i learn with uh, chat gpt okay so chat gpt is one tool hope you have you are familiar with cloud also right now right so how many how many of you know about different uh, uh chatbots what all chatbots you know about can anybody tell me chat gpt cloud then um, we did uh, use gemini gemini then microsoft copilot oh yeah all right meta so yeah. meta bing Met meta a yes so there are different chatbots available so don't restrict to one particular chatbot because that have got uh, some kind of restriction right wherein you will have to limit uh, because the if you don't pay because we use some chatbots which are paid but uh, in your case it is not uh, feasible for you to pay because you will have to pay around 20 dollar per month okay so uh, once you get uh, once you get you can utilize different chatbots you can utilize the power of different chatbots to for for uh, different purposes okay so here if you want to learn particular topic so if you want to answer this uh, this particular question i have downloaded this question for, for, from byju's for uh, a reference okay so if i need to answer this question what i will do i'll just take a screenshot okay i'll just take a screenshot taking a screenshot is different in windows okay but in math uh, in mac it's uh, different so i can just uh, take the screenshot with a combination i'll go to this one and i'll ask chat gpt to find the solution okay i'll just upload the image and i'll ask the chat gpt to find the solution let me see There is one more limitation you need to understand. This kind of chatbots are not very good at math. Okay, so if you have to cross check, you have to cross check the solution because uh, uh, at times it may go wrong. So when you try to understand math, well, you can uh, take the help of uh, this kind of tools to understand how it is finding the solution. Then you will have to refer to some other tools or some other uh, learning material. Uh, to uh, cross check whether the answer is right now the, they are improving this uh, chatbot but believe me for math problems this is not that good all the chatbots are, not, are really not good but the better one is cloud cloud anthropic cloud is better 
coming to math problems anthropic cloud is better than chat gpt okay so you might have already experienced uh, cloud so you can even upload uh, the topic to cloud also okay so you can uh, add the content you can even go here and you can ask for the solution solve this anything you can uh, just give it even if you just give the question it will find the answer okay so it is giving you a step by step approach to uh, that particular questions you see the difference because uh, chat gpt answered us 98 and cloud answered us 180 so you'll have to you'll have to cross check okay because for math problems these chatbots are not not that efficient but cloud is much more better right now i am not going deep into the problem uh, solution but you need to understand that there is a problem with math for this kind of chatbot but uh, cloud is much more efficient but it will give you the step by step approach how to solve the problem so you can understand the step and you can uh, try to find the solution and you can uh, you can cross check hope you got my point at this yes, hope you got, got my it. point yeah. okay yeah. so this is one method you can uh, do that okay and going on to cloud one more point is like uh, now you have uploaded an image and you have tried to understand and even uh, for uh, some kind of uh, circuit diagram if you have got a circuit diagram let me okay so let me let me get a circuit diagram okay so if i can get a circuit diagram So I can I can upload it to Cloud or ChatGPT and ask explain the circuit diagram to me. So I can ask. So never ever go for any other tuition. Okay, explain the circuit diagram as if I am an I am a ten year old. Okay, you need not reveal your age. Okay, you can ask it to explain the topic as if you are a 10 year old child or a student. Okay, so you see it has already explained it. Even if you don't understand it, explain it in a story mode as if I am a six year old. You see. It has already started creating a story. So if you, you can simplify the things to that level that you can understand. You can simplify it to any level. So it's up to you to how to uh, try to understand uh, this in a simpler mode. Got it? Yes. Okay, so this uh, is this easier? So whenever, whatever way you can distill it down, try to distill it down to any point. Okay, so here uh, these kind of chatbots, they will have some limitation for the query, but since you have got multiple chatbots like uh, uh, Microsoft Copilot, uh, Cloud, uh, uh, then uh, ChatGPT, Copilot will be something like this. Okay. Copilot is uh, something like this. If you go to Gemini also, Gemini also is uh, like uh, will give solutions. Okay, so if you have got images, you can even upload to uh, this one also. You can upload from this device. You can uh, ask it to explain. With some, uh, okay, with the details. Okay, or else if you go to Gemini and ask for similar uh, YouTube videos and all, you will get that. You, get, you will get uh, some similar YouTube videos. Okay, if you go to Copilot, you will get the you will get the reference link also. So you can go to that link and you can uh, you can uh, refer back because you see there are some kind of links wherein you can get the details about this. Okay, so you can click on the link and you can go to that and uh, you can watch what is the uh, like uh, uh, the kind of uh, topics it, it has already referred. If you need some detail on uh, detail explanation on the circuit diagram, it will show you some something similar for that. So if you go to Gemini and upload it.
share some videos which explain about this okay so let's see because at times it will it will also come see it will refer to some youtube videos also if you saw if you want to connect to uh, like uh, youtube videos if you need to get easy youtube videos you can uh, upload the particular diagram and ask it in gemini also okay so this is gemini gemini has got some kind of connection with uh, youtube and all okay got it yes, any, have, um... any any doubts hope this is fine right yep yeah, okay so uh, so you you can use any chatbot for this purpose okay and coming on to question papers you can use cloud you can use uh, one second you can use the power of cloud anthropic cloud for this so let me open so we have a paid version of anthropic cloud over here but even you can use the free version for uh, like simple use cases okay so let me let me show you one example particular example wherein we we can showcase we can see the power of this kind of tools in creating question papers okay so how you can create the question papers i'll explain you how to create question papers there are some easy method for this one okay okay so here i can upload five documents okay so what i have done i have already downloaded some question papers some previous years five question papers of english uh, literature uh, for nais okay so i'll upload the five documents okay i'll upload the five documents so you can uh, even in the free version cloud also you can upload five documents but the query is limited but this is a paid version so you can ask uh, like uh, give me the pattern of repeated answers uh, repeated questions in this five years of question papers so rather than just going and referring uh, to all the question papers you can uh, okay one second let me let me check so let me try to understand whether this is able to understand the question papers can you take some sample okay so it's able to read some questions okay so there is no problem with that so let me ask once more compare uh five sets and see if there are any questions have been answered can you compare three sets but there is a use case like this unfortunately it's not working let me check okay okay let me check with this uh, another set okay let me let me go to one more set nos sample question paper okay so you might have already seen this website right yes. have you seen this huh? yes sir okay so you can uh, let's let's try downloading the math question paper let's check okay 
because this is a possibility this is a possibility wherein you can upload uh, the different uh, question papers and ask, ask this for a pattern match so it, it will give you the pattern match it should give then only like it's going to going to be very easy for you so that you can understand the repetition pattern Okay. So let me try to upload. Okay. Let us try to upload. Uh, so it's we are trying to upload the math question paper. We'll try. Okay. Okay. Can you say some repeated questions in this? Yes, you see, it is trying to understand the repeated pattern. Okay, so there are some repeated patterns it is trying to understand and it is trying to give you the result so this kind of comparison is also possible using cloud so you can upload five documents and you can try to understand it okay even you can create some kind of uh, uh, can you create a sample question paper based that can come for the next exam based on this three previous years question papers. So it will give you a repeated pattern. It will try to give. So that's what we expect. Okay. You see, it is creating a question paper. So this question paper has a probability wherein you can you have the probability of like uh, uh, the the question can get repeated because this is the way this is the this is the general uh, general understanding about the question patterns if you if you are aware about the last 5 years question paper you will be able to score at least 70 to 80 percentage of marks okay but you need to know how to answer the uh, questions also and if you go to uh, this uh, cbse or nios website you can you can see one more pattern. You can see one more thing. You see, there is one more thing wherein you can see something called MS. Have you seen this one? What is MS? Any idea? What is MS? Anyone? Jenna? Huh? Hello? Yes. Any idea about MS? No. No. Yeah. Okay. Jenna, are you here? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, what is MS? You have already given the, uh, like, you have it's already the, appeared for the exam. Yeah. Yeah, it's the marking scheme for. Marking subject. schema. Okay, marking schema. No. That is, that is very important. Okay, once you go and uh, write some exam. Knowing the marking schema is the most important thing because if you write any answer, they, they are not giving, going to give you the mark because they have got a pattern. Suppose for a five mark question, you need to write only five points. Okay. Rather than writing five pages and uh, wasting your time, you need to write only five points for five marks. Okay. So you'll be able to save time. So once you go to this website, always try to check the marking uh, schema also and also the sample question paper. Okay, so this this also this pattern also you can check with uh, like uh, you can even uh, create an answer. You can even answer a question paper. You can upload it to ChatGPT or cloud or any other AI tools. You can cross check whether it is uh, in par with marking schema. Got my point. You can even you can even try to uh, try to try to uh, use this chat chatboards as an assessment tool, wherein you can answer the question. 
you can upload the marking schema as the reference you can upload an answer sheet and you can ask it to compare where you are falling short does that sound fine yes uh -huh. is it okay yeah. did you understand yeah. so marking schema is a reference okay so wherein cbse or nios is telling that we are going to evaluate your answer based on this and it will ask the teachers also it will ask the evaluators also to evaluate the answer sheet based on this so it doesn't matter whether you have written four pages five pages it only matters whether it is map it is uh, like in par with the marking schema so before going for any exams you need to understand the marking schema of that particular exam okay so that's very important so you can get the sample question paper you can get the marking schema you can even get the previous year's question paper from uh this uh, what to say uh, from the nios website okay hope you got it okay and another 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 uh, one more uh, thing is like if you have got a learning material if you have got a learning material say for example if you go to the nios uh, what to say basic computing basic computing learning material learning material okay so let's see okay so we'll go we'll uh, get the learning material from here you can upload to a chat bot and you can chat with that particular question or pdf okay so there are uh, different tools for that even there are, there are tools called chat pdf okay chat pdf for uh, this uh, this all these chat bots are effective once you can upload the document it will give you the answers you can chat with that particular uh, topic okay and you can ask it to simplify the topic you can ask it to explain in detail you can ask it to explain to a as if you it is explaining to a 6 year old child or a 10 year old child okay so everything is going to be easy if you are a basic if you are not having the basics you can ask it to explain in that way okay so everything is possible with the chatbots so you need to make use of this chatbots in an effective way okay so this is the basic computing paper so i'll download it okay so i'll go to chat gpt or cloud or any other tools what was the name of the doc document let me check okay right it is downloading attain the server if the if the server is slow also uh, you the download will take time because this is some server wherein may, many people log in at same time at the same time right so it will take time to download even if our internet is having speed also this is not going to work fast because server will show some delay okay okay fine okay so here i got the basic computing i'll upload the document I think it's not uploaded. Hmm. So it's the previous question paper. It's... Let me check. Okay. Maybe because of the size. Ah. Oh. Okay. So it has a limit. A limit of uh, uploading something uh, larger than three thirty MB. So what I will do? I'll go to I love PDF. So everything has got a solution. Okay. I'll go to compress PDF. So now the PDF file is uh, like uh, 30 MB. So I'll go to small PDF. I'll upload the document because it, it is already 30, 60 MB. So I have the limitation of uploading only th till 30 MB. So it is uh, trying to compress the file. So, it, so we'll go for the basic compression.
even if you need to split a particular you see the 63 mb of the document is right now how much only 5 mb okay so everything has got a solution okay so i have got a compressed file so what i will do i'll upload the compressed file okay so it is getting uploaded so it's now only 5 mb so i'll give a summary of the main topics so i need not go through the entire stuff i can try to understand what is the basic uh, things that are getting discussed in this document okay so it is trying to read the document and it is giving uh, trying to give me a summary summary so each and every topic i can try to identify the topic and i can go behind this and try to uh, maybe give a detailed explanation no section 7 okay section 7 is customer service skills you see it is giving you the uh, like uh, it is giving you uh, some kind of uh, information about that particular topic maybe you can upload a basic computing question also along with this one you can upload the topic you can upload the question you can try to answer you can try to find the answer from the topic too hope you got it is that fine yes sir yes sir so it's, it's your idea it's your idea how to use because i may be using it in a different way and you may have different idea for this okay yep. so this is one uh, one method so if you have got a, like a heavy pdf what you need to do you need to compress it if you need to if you have got a 200 300 page of document you can even uh, break it into different pages you can you can split you can use split pdf okay so there are tools for each and every steps there are free tools available for each and every activity you need to do if you need to convert uh, a pdf to ppt that is there if you need to convert a uh, like pdf to image or Im image to pdf everywhere the tool is available okay so make use of that so that is one point then uh, another thing is about uh, the gemini one second so let me show you one more example wherein one more effective tool is there you see there is something called uh, let me share so how many of you have used the gemini inside google drive gemini inside google drive okay you Where can you can yeah huh yeah, I am nothing. Okay, so here, here, what happens is like you have got a Gemini integration inside the Google Drive. So whatever documents you put it here, so you will have, uh, you see, you can learn about that particular file. You can even prompt to that uh, this Gemini, and you can learn. Okay, you can uh, create a de detailed de uh, detail summary about file one. I will uh, try to. You see, there are a lot of uh, documents over here. So I'll just check one uh, document. So I can I can uh, like I can get details about any documents over here. I can chat with a different type of documents over here. Okay. So it will it will try to answer based on the documents. So this is one more uh, one more tool which help you to uh, like chat and learn in Google Drive. So you can use Google Drive as a repo and try to learn from that. You see, it it is explaining it is explaining about the particular topic okay so this is one one area because it has already read from the topic and it has, it is explaining to you so you can chat with this and uh, you can uh, ask for more question you see what is the cancellation policy what is the so you can, you can chat with a document inside the google drive using gemini so this integration is all may be already available in your google drive also so you can use this as a repo okay repository got it what the point yeah yes sir okay and there are there is some some there are some easy way so whenever you search something some about some particular topic you will have to you will have to use two keywords what are they i always repeat this two keywords two particular keywords 
do you remember the two keywords i always used to say yeah any answers one of the keyword is easy another okay. one is so what huh another one is simple simple yes yes yes, yes. okay so you can always use you should always use this particular keyword you you will have to when you, whenever you search for videos easy method to learn calculus so no no topic is difficult okay every topic is going to going to be very easy for you so you are going to search about uh, the uh, like uh, the particular video let let because i i'm not pretty sure about one, the topic every one second let me share some so i am not going to watch this video instead of that what i am going to do i have got a tool for summarizing okay so i'll summarize this video i am going to create a summary about the video i am trying to understand you see this is a 21 minutes video so it has distilled down the topic to different subsections you see it has given it has divided the topic to different subsection so i can go to that particular area and watch that you see i can understand where this particular topic is getting discussed i can even chat with the i can get the transcript and i can even chat with the summary okay so i can get the total uh, transcript and i can even chat with the summary so this is going to be very easy even when i can chat with the summary i can chat with about uh, uh, like how uh, like what all things are getting discussed within this topic so this youtube video you need not watch you can summarize and you can you can try to understand Okay. Is it an ex so, extension? Yeah, it is an extension. It is called uh, uh, Merlin. Merlin. Mer so Merlin okay. extension will help you out in learning this one. Okay. So this is the Merlin website. You can create a Chrome extension and you can get the summary. Okay. So there are different tools for this. Merlin is not the only one tool. You have got different tools for this. So you can try to understand where the particular uh, uh, topic is available. You can uh, like uh, you can go and uh, watch this one. Okay. So that is possible. Okay. So these are some methods. So if you want to learn something, go for easy and uh, uh, simple ways to learn that. And one more thing you need to remember, whatever you learn, try to create a material out of that. Try to create a repo out of that and try to sell it. Okay. So always find a business point. Always try to find a business point wherein you can sell your notion. You can sell your notion uh, link you can uh, sell your uh, what to say this kind of summaries you have created you can even uh, you can even uh, create the learning materials you can create videos you can create ppts presentations using canva try to sell your method okay this is sellable because there are a lot of people who are waiting out there who who doesn't know how to learn so that that's why they go for tuitions so here we are finding a, an easy method so whatever topics you learn Try to create repos like this. Try to create easy method like this. Try to teach your skill. Uh, try, try to teach your methodology to another person and try to sell it. Okay, I know one person who, who sells uh, the current affairs to this uh, civil service uh, aspirants. He Every day he goes to this newspaper website, create summary, he will create a presentation, he will share it in a repo and charge for uh, charge from this UPSC aspirants. Okay, so it's so simple. So if you know something, some kind of topics, if you make it simple and if you learn simple, if you create it as a repo, it, it is going to be very easy. So create mind maps, create videos, create uh, presentations, create this uh, notion repos. So that the notion repo is going to be very easy. Create repos within Google Drive. Try to learn with that. Try to explain this to somebody, someone else. Try to sell it. Any doubts? No. Is it going to be simple? Or may, I, I have made the things much more complicated. Uh, you it's really easier. It's much more easier. Yeah. So think, because this is only my idea. I have only shared my idea. Now, you when you start using these tools, you will have better ideas. Okay, you will have better ideas. Everything is going to be very easy. The only thing is that you will have to be organized. Okay, you will have to you will have to try, create uh, try creating schedules. You will have to uh, try creating some kind of goals. You will have to track your goals. Okay, you will have to track your goals on how you are going to achieve this. Okay, so there, yeah. 
so there are simple tools for this so try to use uh, make use of ai tools try to make uh, simplify distill down the topics try to make everything simple okay so uh, so i have got another tool but i think i need the vpn to access that turn to that need a particular uh, because that tool will work only with in us okay so anyway uh, i'll share that tool later okay so hope uh, this is fine for the day so will you start learning today hello am i audible yes sure audible so you have to start preparations from today spend one hour <laughs> i'm not asking you to spend two or three hours spend one hour try to organize things try to make use of this kind of tools and repos and everything and try to make your learning easier distill down the topics into the way that you understand make it much more easier make it a commercial product okay try to create web pages out of notion try to chat with that any doubt yes. fahim Yeah, Abra, tell me. Yeah, uh, I said there isn't any doubt. Pardon? No, I said there isn't any doubt. Okay, 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 okay. Fine, great. For him, is it okay? Okay. Hope you understood, right? Yes. Jenna, what is your plan? Jenna is uh, so now you need to use new tools and new methodologies. Yeah. I do okay. because the subjects changed. Yes, so try to make use of this kind of uh, like uh, tools. Organize everything in uh, one place. Try to chat with the chat bot and try to learn. Okay, Prapti. Yes, sir. So this is fine, right? So try to learn in a different way. Try to make use of the AI tools. Okay, organize everything. So I need to see your repo later on. You will have to share your repos with me. so that we can have like we can refer to that we can try to understand because we have a collaborative learning and we on when we are in other people can learn from you so even you can sure. take classes for particular topics yep okay so let's practice here try to sell it to someone outside and make money okay rather than just definitely. clearing your exam you try to make money okay definitely yeah so this is fine right sabina ma'am yes sir Oh, okay. This is fine for the day. Okay, so let them try to make use of the to uh, tools. Let them try to create repos. Okay, Notion repos, and uh, let them uh, let us uh, create the contents. Okay. So, okay. So thank you, thank you very much uh, for your time. Okay. So let's uh, everyone. So I wish you all the very best. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, yes. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. same to you guys